Welcome to Anchorage, Alaska, a city with a surprisingly good food scene. In no particular order, here are six of our recommendations for delicious food in Anchorage. We chose to come to Spinard Roadhouse today because we saw it on multiple lists of the best places to eat in Anchorage. Spinard Roadhouse is known for bourbon, bacon, and tater tots, two of which we are getting today. They have a bacon of the month, so every month they do a specific bacon-inspired appetizer. This month it's barbecue bacon poutine. Sorry to my Canadian friends if I am saying that wrong. I'm just an American. It all sounds really good and we'll let you know how it looks and how it tastes when it comes out. So our first dish has just arrived. It is the barbecue bacon poutine and it has big cold pieces of barbecue bacon served over french fries with gravy, cheddar cheese, ranch dressing, and green onions. And it looks and smells absolutely amazing. I should have taken some Pepto beforehand. <laughs> we're getting too old for this. I think, yeah, I think we're getting too old to eat stuff like this, but no turning back now. <laughs> it's kind of a gloomy day. I think it's gonna start raining, so this is like good comfort food. So I just got a little taste just of the bacon itself. Feels a little more like pulled pork, but it's super, super flavorful. A little bit of gravy drizzled on it too, it's just, I, I can't quite put the, the flavors in, but it's like salty, but sweet, and just full and full of flavor. It kind of gets better the longer you leave it in your mouth. It's fantastic. So for our entree, we got the Cubano. Normally we split entrees because it's cost effective and it's just way too much food if we both get one. But I picked this because I'm a big fan of Cubanos. It's got black forest ham, slow braised pork, dill pickles, pickled onions, their house mayo, and it's on a ciabatta bun. It looks really great and we got it with the tater tots because that's another thing that this place is famous for. And those look pretty uniformly golden, so I'm excited to try those as well. And it has Swiss cheese and barbecue sauce on it, so lots of flavors going on here. It's messy, as you would expect. Wow. Kind of smoky, a little spicy. So you've got kind of the tangy with the dill and the pickled onions. The pork is a little sweet, but it's also got a little kick to it with the barbecue sauce. And the ham is nice and salty, perfect ciabatta bun. I love it. So as a side with your sandwich, you can get tater tots, regular french fries, sweet potato tots, loaded tater tots with like all kinds of bacon and cheese and stuff on it, which sounded really good. But we got the uh, poutine, we decided to forego that. There's also like mac and cheese and salads and all kinds of good stuff. And now, as I suspected, perfect. Highly recommend Menard Roadhouse. We have just pulled up to Moose's Tooth Pizzeria, and right now they told us the wait is about 75 to 80 minutes. It is 8 o'clock on a Wednesday in August, but from what I hear, it is just always this busy at this pizzeria. So this is one of the most popular places in Anchorage. Actually, according to Wikipedia, it is ranked as the number three most popular pizzeria in the United States. Hopefully it doesn't end up taking that long, but we're prepared to wait for it. Because of this place's popularity and because of COVID, they've expanded to this little tent area that's kind of set off to the side of the restaurant. That's where we're sitting tonight. We just ordered our pizza. You can do half and half. So we were able to try two different other specialty pizzas, which is really nice. Not only do they have great pizza here, but they also brew a lot of their own beer. So this first one here is the Arctic Apple Ale, which I've heard is one of their most popular. It's kind of like a pseudo cider beer. So it's probably gonna be pretty heavy on the apple. Pseudo cider? Pseudo cider. I might actually like that one. That's kind of a beer that like people that don't like beer would probably like. He always says that and I never like it. Also went for the Chugach Session Ale, Pipeline Stout, and Northern Lights Amber. Loving how all of them are Alaska themed. Kind of be surprised if they weren't. 
So luckily, even though they told us it was going to be about an hour and 20 minutes, we got in at about 45. And just to put this into perspective for anyone who's actually worked in the restaurant industry, it's like almost 9 p.m. on a Wednesday and the wait is still that long, which is really crazy. It just goes to show how popular this place actually is. Our pizza just arrived and we definitely made a mistake ordering a large. It's freaking huge. We got one of their special pizzas, the Mountaineer. It's got steak and bacon, tomatoes, mushroom, and garlic oil. It looks amazing. The second one we got is called the Solstice, which has chicken, sun-dried tomatoes, some marinara base, uh, mozzarella, and more mushrooms. So we're heavy on the mushrooms today. But I think we're gonna have leftovers, which is perfectly fine because we're gonna do a little day trip tomorrow and I can't wait to dive in. Oh wow, I tried the solstice and it actually has whole cloves of garlic with sun-dried tomatoes, chicken, and the flavors just blend perfectly together. The garlic is not too much, it's cooked to perfection. It's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna try the specialty pizza, which is the Mountaineer with the steak and bacon. It's good. It's a little weird having pizza that doesn't have marinara sauce, but I think that would be overpowering. There's a lot of subtle flavors that go together really well. It's kind of salty because of the meat, very tasty. If you're looking for a great grab-and-go breakfast option, Fire Island Bake Shop is a great spot to check out. We saw Fire Island on a couple of lists, and it's really awesome because it's locally owned and it's a whole family operation and they only bake in small batches so once they run out they run out i'm excited to try the food with all the love and stuff that they, yeah it, you can always taste the difference when it's not mass produced i think yeah and it definitely looked like a small operation on the inside yeah we got a couple breakfast sandwiches it's got this nice poppy seed bun some butter lettuce, a poached egg. We got the sausage option, and I'm not 100% sure what the green sauce is, but it smells really good, so. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I hate videos of me eating. It's <laughs> so weird. I'm a messy eater. It's really good. Did we get napkins? No. Mm, I don't know. I'll run in and get some. Poached egg is definitely messy. Good call on the butter lettuce. It's not too much, like, I don't know, romaine and other lettuces can have a weird bitterness that I don't, I'm not a fan of. It also has cheese on it, which I didn't mention earlier. And the bread is really, really soft. You can definitely tell it's, it's homemade. So yeah, it's got like kind of a sweetness with the sausage. Still don't really know what the green sauce is, but it's tasty. My mouth is watering just looking at it and thinking about it more. The sandwich is cold though. I don't know if we should have asked for it to get warmed up. It's perfectly delicious as is, although I probably would have liked it to be warm would have enjoyed that more, but this is going to be perfectly fine. The sandwich being cold kind of threw me off at first, but it actually really works well. All the ingredients taste really fresh. The sausage tastes like it is not processed, if that makes sense. It tastes like a very natural kind of fresh food. It's light, but filling. Sometimes you have food that tastes really good, but it makes you really sleepy afterwards. I feel like this is the opposite. I feel like it tastes really good, but it's also going to give you energy and not fill you up too much. The bread's really light, not heavy. Um, it just, all in all, looks really, really good and tastes really delicious too. In between all of these amazing meals, we have come back to our hotel for a little break. Hotels in the summer in Anchorage are pretty dang expensive, which is why we are very happy to share the sponsor of today's video, which is Booking Credits. Booking Credits is an awesome new hotel booking site that gives you cash back directly to your credit card. Most hotel booking sites have access to rates that are not available to the public, but they are required by the hotel to sell them at the standard hotel price. And when you book a hotel with a regular booking site, most companies will pocket the difference between what you paid and their commission as profit. With booking credits, you can earn up to 40% cash back. And that doesn't come in the form of points or credit on the site. It's actually cash back to your card. 
which helps when you're trying to come somewhere that is expensive in the summer, like Anchorage. And all that money that we save, we can spend on more food. If you're planning to book a hotel anytime soon, check out the booking credits link in our description. Remember, that's up to 40% cash back, no points, no credit on the site. That actually goes back to your credit card, in your wallet, no gimmicks. And I can attest that it actually works. They really do give you cash back. It's pretty dang cool. So go check out bookingcredits.com and enjoy your next trip. Now, back to the food. There weren't a lot of dessert places on any of the lists we looked up for the best places to eat in Anchorage, but one that popped up consistently was this ice cream place called Wild Scoops. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at this. So we got a baked Alaska. It's got marshmallow fluff that's torched on the top, so obviously. <laughs> All right, because of COVID, there's not a good place to eat in the actual store, so we're going to go for it here. They had lots of really cool Alaskan style flavors. So we went for fireweed and wild blueberry. If you saw our last video, I explained a little bit about fireweed. It's a very pretty Alaskan flower that blooms in the summer. This makes very nice ice cream flavor. Ready? Let's do it. This toasted marshmallow looks amazing. Okay, got some blueberry, some blueberry. Mmm, that's good. Oh yeah. Anytime I get blueberry flavored anything, it makes me think of national parks because Yosemite, Yellowstone, they all have like blueberry flavored stuff for some reason. It's not super strong, the blueberry either, which is really nice. It's, I wouldn't call it subtle either, but it's a good balance. Sometimes you get flavored stuff that's just way too overpowering or way too sweet, but this is really nice. This is really good. It's like you could eat, you could easily eat a pint of this without maxing out. I'm picky when it comes to ice cream. I'm not not a big sweets person, so this is actually really good, which is saying a lot for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's super good. We both weren't even really feeling ice cream before this either, but we're both destroying this right mm -hmm. now. Where's your fireweed? I think the fireweed's underneath too. You can get like a half scoop of each, which is what we ended up doing. The fireweed's different. It's like, it's more subtle. It's floral for sure. I don't mean to sound bougie about that, but it is. It kind of tastes like a flower, honestly. Like yeah, something that maybe has like rose hip. It's definitely kind of floral. It's got a little hint of honey as well. More subtle flavors than the blueberry. Yeah, but both very good in their own in their own way. Yeah, super good. They have two locations in Anchorage. One's downtown, and then this one that we went to, which is a little further south. Right by Moose's Tooth Pizzeria. So after you get your awesome pizza. Come on over here. Mm-hmm. We finally made it to the place we were probably most excited to come, Snow City Cafe in downtown Anchorage. Now, it's a Friday morning and it's raining outside and the wait is about an hour and a half, but part of that is due to COVID because they've taken some of the tables away. But the bar is first come, first serve, so we're waiting to see if someone gets up from there and I'm really excited because I'm so hungry right now. We were lucky enough to get a couple seats at the bar, so it only took us about 35 minutes instead of an hour and 35 minutes, which is always a good thing. That's one thing if you're in a breakfast place and it's a really long wait, always check to see if the bar is first come, first serve, because we've really gotten lucky in a couple instances when there's a super long wait, especially if there's only two people. It's usually pretty easy to get a spot at the bar. This has got to be the most popular breakfast place in Anchorage. They've got tons of great Benedicts with things like salmon and crab, obviously, because we're in Alaska. They also have a lunch menu as well and I got myself a little cheeky mimosa so I'm excited about that. I was anticipating an hour and a half wait so I was like it's gonna be an hour and a half I'm getting a mimosa but turns out if it's 30 minutes I'm also getting a mimosa. Kevin's a big fan of Benedict so of course he got that. They have a great menu for that and he got the Kodiak which has uh, salmon cakes on it. it. looks amazing. They make their hollandaise in-house and they said they do it like once an hour so it's very very fresh. I got the polar bear breakfast because I can never decide between sweet and savory. So this had eggs and bacon and you could get pancakes or french toast, but I upgraded to the stuffed french toast, which has orange cream cheese, toasted walnuts, and raspberry butter, and I'm super, super excited. This might be the best eggs benedict I've ever had. These crab cakes are insane. 
Hey, I've made you crack cakes better. Yeah, so now we can't even get to our school. Very close second. <laughs> no. As Anchorage is located right on the coast, obviously there's a lot of really good seafood options in Alaska. We have come to a sushi restaurant. This isn't the top ranked sushi restaurant, but it's one of our personal favorites. It's been a few years since we've been here, so hopefully it's as good as we remember. Our rolls have arrived and I'm so excited. Sushi purists are gonna hate us, but we like the specialty rolls. Uh, we got one that's a little more fresh. It's uh, your standard rainbow roll. And we got one fancy one that has tempura and other stuff. It's called the Golden State Roll, which uh, represent California. So they both look really amazing and I'm excited to dig in. I'm, I'm not doing this on camera. <laughs> Tasty. I think it's just as good as we remembered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fish tastes super fresh, light, good balance, awesome flavors, great presentation. So as we said, this isn't going to be on any top 10 places to eat in Anchorage or anything. It's just a personal favorite of ours, but it is really good. So if you're craving sushi and you're in Anchorage, the fish is really fresh. So. But we'll put it on our list. Be sure to check out our other Alaska videos. How are you feeling after that food experience? The food experience was quite <laughs> an experience. The lettuce just kind of... and. And really everything. Um, <laughs> killing it. Okay. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Can you describe a little bit? Um, no. Yeah. Have a No. I think I'm good. Okay.